Flaming tires and other debris burned in Port-au-Prince, Haiti's embattled capital, as residents protested against overwhelming gang violence. Many here say life has become unbearable. I'm on the street today because my area of Pernier is not good. I can't stay at home. There are a lot of explosions. At the moment, people are leaving their houses. I have found myself obliged to take to the streets to say no to Ariel. Ariel refers to Prime Minister Ariel Henry, who has held office without elections since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in July 2021. Many Haitians consider Henri an illegitimate ruler. The entire republic must rise to make Ariel Henri respond. We can no longer stand the insecurity. Nothing is functional, not even the democratic institutions. We want elections free of gangs. The head of state is now even involved in gangs. The whole country is gangsterized. Gangs now control an estimated 80% of Port-au-Prince and vast swaths of the countryside. Gang killings doubled last year to 4,500 and kidnappings surged by 80%. Gang members also engage in widespread rape and sexual assault of women and girls. Nenel Volme was injured in a shootout in his neighborhood of Solino. On Sunday I was sitting with a friend near my house when three bullets came in. One hit me and broke the bone, but I don't have the means to go to the hospital. According to the UN agency UNICEF, more than 300,000 Haitians have fled their homes because of violence and insecurity. I ran. I have children with me. I ran with them. I have nothing for them. They kill people. They chase us. That's why I left the area. Last year, the United Nations came up with a plan to bring several thousand police officers from Kenya to help stabilize Haiti. But a Kenyan court blocked the deployment, ruling that it was unconstitutional. For now, Haitians say they can't see a way out. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.